province. So this is uh, grow zero to nine. There are 10 distinct growth stages in rice. And after pre-germination, the radical and plumule protrude through hull. And by second or third day in the seed bed, the first leaf break through the coleoptile. The end of stage zero shows the emerged primary leaf is still curled and an elongated radical. Remember the primary leaf, which was not having a leaf blade. Now the next stage is seedling stage. Seedling means still a plant, till an individual that has germinated or that has been produced from the seed. It is called seedling because it has been produced from the seed. It is product of the seed, therefore it is called as seedling. And it will remain seedling till it is one. If it becomes two, then it will not remain seedling. In case of rice, I restrict my words only to rice, not to other plants. So here, seedling stage starts right after the, the emergence and lasts until just before the first tiller appears. When the first tiller appear visible, then it will not remain a seedling. Seminal roots and up to five leaves develop. Means normally seedling will have four to five leaves. Now you can see the, the picture, this picture, one on left side, other on right side. So on the left side, germination under the light. So in this case, you see the, the plume hole or the shoot part germinated first. Coleoptile came and from coleoptile, you got primary leaf and secondary leaf. I have shown you in the morphology, what is primary leaf and secondary leaf. Now see on the right side, in right side, seed was germinated in, in dark or in soil. Showing the, meso showing the mesocotyl. So mesocotyl, you see, this is the structure which thrusts the seed, the, the plant or the plume wood outside the soil. Then seedling stage continues. So two more leaves develop. One leaf every three to four days. One leaf every three to four days. Two more leaves may develop. And leaves continue to develop at the rate of one per three to four days during the early stage. 18 days old seedling ready for transplanting. Normally 18 days is ready. However, in India, we recommend 20 to 25 days old seedlings for transplanting. Five leaves and a rapidly developing root system. So the seedling will have five leaves and a rapidly developing root system. So you can see secondary advantageous roots rapidly replace the temporary radical and seminal roots. Now you can see adventitious roots have come up, which are from the basal portion of the stem. Now you see after the seedling, the next stage is tilling, numbered stage two. So tilling means appearance of the first tiller, you will find tilling to the maximum tiller number is reached. So tilling happens starting from the appearance of the first tiller to the maximum tiller stage or normally we call it maximum tillering stage. So now tillers emerge from the axillary buds of the nodes. You see nodes, every node has a bud that can develop into a leaf or develop into a tiller. So tillers uh, emerge from the axillary buds or side buds on the node. Primary tiller give rise to secondary tiller. This is known to you. This occurs about 30 days after transplanting, this development of tillers. The plant is now increasing in length and tilling very actively. Tilling very actively. You can see in the picture, this is active tilling stage where number of tillers is increasing fast. New tertiary tiller arise from the secondary tiller and plant grows longer and larger. Generally speaking, in high tilling varieties, there are two kinds of variety or rather three kinds of variety. One are shy tilling variety. Shy tilling variety means very few numbers of tillers, a number of tillers are produced, maybe four or five tillers. It's a mediocre kind of varieties which may produce eight to 10 or 12 tillers. And high tilling variety may produce 15 to 16 tillers per plant, particularly hybrid. Hybrids produce 15, 14 tillers per plant. So this, uh, some variety may not get tertiary tillers. It is more primary tillers, many will give primary tillers, some may give secondary tillers and very few will give you tertiary tillers. Okay, so uh, now it is difficult to pick out the main stem. 
uh, at the end of the tilling stage, and tillers continue to develop as the plant enters the next stage. So these tillers are not just increasing in number during tilling stage. They are also increasing the leaf number on them, and they are also increasing the, the height, their height, also increasing their height, even during tilling stage. Now, the third stage is stem elongation. Stem elongation means screen, uh, increase in length of the internodes. So begin before panicle initiation or during the later part of the tilling, means after the tilling or during the later part of the tilling. In short duration variety, stem elongation will, be, uh, will overlap with the tiller production. In long duration variety, tiller, tiller production will end and then stem elongation will start. So there may be an overlap of stage two and three. The tillers continue to increase in number and height. Ground cover and canopy formation have advanced. Now you will not find free spaces in the, in the, in the field. So mostly it is the, the land will be covered. More time in varieties with longer duration for stage three stem elongation. Longer duration variety, more time. The short duration varieties mature in 105 to 120 days. Long duration variety, 150 days. In early maturing semi-dwarf, fourth internode below the point where the panicle emerges, elongate only from two to four centimeter before panicle initiation becomes visible. Uh, now stem elongation continues. MT means maximum tilling. SE means stem elongation and PI means panicle initiation. So MT, SE and PI occur almost simultaneously in short duration variety, 105 to 100. I'm repeating these facts again and again so that uh, th there should not re uh, remain any doubt in your mind. You should get this thing very clear. The period from the maximum tilling to panicle initiation is referred to as vegetative lag phase. In long duration varieties, the lag vegetative period occurs. In short duration, it, is, it does not occur. This is followed by stem or internode elongation and finally by panicle initiation. Means first the tilling will maximize and then elongation will happen and afterwards panicle initiation will take place. Now, panicle initiation to booting stage. This is stage number four. So now you can say initiation of panicle means initiation of uh, inflorescence formation. So initiation of panicle primordium at the tip of the growing shoot marks the start of reproductive phase. Panicle primordium becomes visible to naked eyes only 10 days after initiation. But before that, you can see by some lens magnifying glasses or lens. Three leaves will still emerge before the panicle finally emerges. Panicle initiation occurs first in the main come. So it depends upon the age of the tiller. Uh, if your tiller is old, so panicle uh, emergence uh, initiation will happen as per the age. Older uh, tillers will uh, start panicle initiation first uh, followed by the young ones. So PI occurs first in main come and then in tillers where it emerges in uneven pattern because age of the tillers are different. Age of the primary tillers, primary tillers have longer age than the secondary and secondary have more age than the tertiary. So tertiary tillers will be the last one to start panicle initiation and so on. So jo ek bar late ho gaya, wo late hota jayega. So it can be seen by dissecting the stem, this panicle primordium. And then panicle initiation to booting. See the how panicle is developing on the left, left side picture. In the beginning, it is not visible in the first uh, second, third, fourth, and see the development. Development of the panicle in different pictures continuously. As the panicle continues to develop, the spikelets become distinguishable. And at the end, in the last, this is fully developed panicle. And on the right side, it is panicle initiation to booting. So see the person is holding this uh, uh, rice panicle in the hand, in the fingers, and this is actually boot leaf stage where panicle is covered inside the flag leaf. So young panicle increases in size and its upward extension inside the flag leaf sheath causes the leaf sheath to bulge. 
this bulging or swelling kind of thing of the flag leaf sheath is called as booting. So uh, we continue with the panicle initiation to booting. Booting is most likely to occur first in the main gum. Same thing at boot. Here is a problem that senescence may also start. Aging and dying of leaves and non-bearing tillers are noticeable at the base of the plant because base leaves are not getting light directly. So they start getting yellowing or drying or turning brown or senescence is happening in the lower leaves. Now, also known as the panicle exertion stage. The next stage is heading or panicle exertion. Means here, the panicle will set free itself from the flag leaf. It will come out of flag leaf. Also known as panicle exertion stage. Marked by the emergence of the panicle tip from the flag leaf sheath. So, panicle continues to emerge until it partially or completely protrudes from the sheath. Friends, actually, it does not happen in one go. It does not happen in five minutes. The, the opening of the panicle or exertion happens very slowly. So normally it takes two to three days time to completely open this, uh, to completely out, come out of the flag leaf. So in the beginning, the smaller fraction or one third fraction of the, uh, this panicle will, will get it removed from the leaf, then middle part, then lower part. So it, it takes about two to three days time to completely get the panicle exerted from the uh, flag leaf. So accordingly, the flow of flowering will happen. The portion of the flower which is exposed first, which is coming out first, will have flowering and pollination first. The middle part will have pollination and fertilization second. The lower part of the panicle will get uh, pollination and fertilization in the last. And it happens at day one, day two, and day three. It is like this. So also known as the panicle exertion stage, marked by the emergence of the panicle tip from the flag leaf sheath, panicle continues to emerge until it partially or completely protrudes from the sheath. And now it is flowering. So it is stage four, five, and six is constitute the reproductive phase, the second phase of the rice growth. I told you that flowering and heading happens hand in hand, one after the other. So there is hardly one day difference, 24 hours difference between heading and flowering. So uh, you will see it's the next slide. Stage six is called as flowering. It begins when anthers protrude from the spikelet. The main identification of this stage is that you will find the panicles look white because these anthers, uh, they are coming out of the uh, spikelet at this flowering stage. Then fertilization takes place. At flowering, the floret opens. Floret means your spikelet will open. The anthers protrude from the flower glooms because of stamen elongation and the pollen is shed. And then the immediately floret close. And see the Within the panicle, the uh, pollination fertilization will happen at different day, depending upon the part of the panicle, one third, middle, and lower one third. The pollen falls on the pistil, thereby fertilizing the egg. The pistil is the feathery structure. Flowering process continues until most of the spikelet in the panicle are in bloom. Bloom means flowering. From left to right side frame shows anthesis of flowers. So you see these pictures uh, from left to right. First picture, you can see the top portion of the panicle is flowering. In the center picture, in the middle picture, you see middle part of the uh, panicle is showing you flowering. And in the extreme right, you see the lower part of the panicle is showing flowering. That means flowering starts from top, then in the middle, and then in the lower part of the panicle. So the flowering process continues until most of the spikelets in the panicle are in bloom. From left to right, you can see at the top of the panicle, first day after heading. So this is the scene for first day. And middle part, you can see it is the scene on second day after heading. And anthesis at the lower third of the panicle, third day after the heading. So this is happening in progression from top to bottom of the panicle. Now, flowering occurs a day after heading. 
floors open in the morning this is important therefore the rice breeders should work for if they want to pollinate the crop artificially they should visit the field in the morning it takes about 7 days for all spikelets in a panicle to open or fertilization at flowering 3 to 5 leaves are still active the top 3 to 5 leaves tillers of this rice plant have been separated at the start of the flowering and grouped into bearing and non bearing till bearing tillers means tillers which have panicles and tillers which do not have panicle are non bearing tillers or unproductive tillers and now see the last, uh, stage 7 Stage 7 is your milk grain stage stage 8 is your duff grain stage and stage 9 is mature grain stage the last three stages of growth 7 8 and 9 complete the comprise the ripening means ripening phase is made up of 7 8 9 which are milk duff and mature grain stage you can see the the color, the color of the grain from green to getting straw color or yellow color in the end so see the middle one is in between these two and uh, when it was green it at maturity it has turned yellow and also see in the first uh, grain you see it is just like milk milk is uh, very liquid and in the center part you see it is semi solid it is just like a paste uh, or just like you when you duff duff is your atta gila gila atta gila atta wet floor is your duff and then uh, the last one is solid solidified milk so milk grain stage the grain has begun to fill with a milky material so you can see the crop also at milky stage grain is start to fill with a white milky liquid milk can be squeezed out by pressing the grain between the fingers you can see on the top you can take out the milk by pressing the grain with the fingers so that is the identity of milk grain stage in rice panicle looks green and start to bend bend here bending will start at this stage senescence at the base of the tillers is progressing means the leaves are dying the flag leaves and the two lower leaves are green and now this is the duff grain stage during this stage the milky portion of the grain first turns into a soft duff when you put water in the floor then then you 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 do something like this you do some activity and it becomes a paste so this is duff and later into a hard duff and then the grains in this panicle begin to change from green to yellow because crop is uh, approaching the the maturity or ripening stage senescence of tillers and leaves is noticeable some are some are starting uh, the senescence field start to look yellowish as the panicle turns yellow the last two remaining leaves of each tiller begin to dry now you see mature grain stage you can see the picture the crop looks like this at mature grain stage the individual grain is mature fully developed hard and thus uh, turn yellow so mature grain stage you can see it is fully mature you understand so 90 to 100% of the filled grains have turned yellow and hard the upper leaves are now drying rapidly through the leaves means almost all the leaves are drying at this stage considerable amount of dead leaves accumulate at the base of the plant they start just drooping kind of structure of the leaves and they turn brown or in color and at this stage if you identify the maturity or ripening stage just you take some grains in your uh, uh, between your teeth the front teeth or your canine teeth and then then you just cut uh, cut it by teeth and if you if you if it sounds like cut cut when when you get cut cut ki awaz sound of cut cut that means it is matured now you see the last slide perhaps uh, about the morphological characters associated with high yielding potential of rice varieties given by yoshida means what are the characteristics or features of uh, varieties uh, rice variety that will result in higher yields so for example leaf leaf should be thick uh, thick in case of rice because thick leaf means associated with more erect habit higher photosynthetic rate per unit leaf area short and small they say leaf should be short and small associated with more erect habit even distribution of leaves in canopy so this will benefit uh, the uh, receiving of the sunlight erect 
increases sunlight uh, leaf surface area, thereby permitting more even distribution of incident light or incoming light. Uh, Cum or stem should be short and stiff, prevent lodging. Tillers upright, compact, permits a greater penetration of incident light into canopy. High tilling, it should be high tilling, and panicle should be low sterility and high fertility, high percentage, etc. So you can go through the morphological characters associated with high yields of rice. So this finishes this presentation. And uh, now if you have quick questions, you can ask.